When Ashley Stevenson lost her job eight years ago, she never imagined it would be her last. Since then, she's applied for hundreds of roles and is still without work. You have to make the choices uh, between medicine and food, rent and food, choices that uh, in Australia you shouldn't have to make. She's been on the waiting list for public housing for seven years and spent the last two without a permanent place to sleep. When I was renting, I couldn't afford haircuts. I had to go without seven meals in order to afford a haircut so I could go to an interview. She's one of nearly one and a half million people who can't find a job or work the hours they want. In a period where we've had COVID, there's been a huge amount of extra unpaid care work that uh, predominantly women have had to uh, take up. But then also we've seen a changing nature in the kind of work that's available and the increase in casualisation. Although the official jobless rate is nearing its lowest level in half a century, there are now more people relying on unemployment payments to survive than there were before the pandemic even if some of them also work part-time. And public policy lecturer Elise Klein says more Australians than ever are holding down two jobs. It's a problem people are working two jobs because it signals that uh, the, the quality of the jobs out there are, are not um, in track with what people need to keep up with the cost of living. When people lose a job and are lucky enough to find another one, like Gerry Andrews, their new positions won't necessarily pay the same wages and conditions. It has been an incredible struggle. My pay has uh, significantly uh, seen a, a reduction in terms of my annual income, up to even uh, 40%. Um, so that, that has had a major impact on uh, my lifestyle choices and how, how I survive financially. The single dad of three says the rising cost of living has made his situation much harder. It's not easy and uh, I guess uh, you just have to make ends meet and so uh, you know often I have done uh, odd jobs apart from my uh, full-time job and uh, tried to do a side hustle. The pre-election budget was supposed to be about bringing the cost of living down but for Australians trapped in precarious work or locked out of the labour market it's done little to help them. The budget was a joke for people in poverty. The, pay the $250 payment was a joke. People can't use that to pay their rent. They can't use that to pay their, their food bills. Anti-poverty centre spokesman Jay Coonan says raising welfare payments to more than $600 a week would help more people get back into work. Right now, people are punished for being unemployed. People are punished for every step that they take to try and improve their lives. At the end of this year, Ashley Stevenson turns 67 and is able to claim the aged pension. She hopes it will give her more financial security as long as they don't put all pensioners, all welfare recipients on the INJU card. A birthday present worth an extra $150 a week.